As we age, our testosterone levels naturally decline. One significant factor is the gradual decrease in testosterone production by the testes, usually starting around the age of 30. Additionally, aging is associated with changes in hormone regulation and metabolism, leading to reduced testosterone synthesis and secretion. Lifestyle factors such as increased stress, sedentary behavior, poor diet, and inadequate sleep can further this decline. To make matters worse, obesity and diabetes can also contribute to lower testosterone levels in older men. While the decline in testosterone levels is gradual, the aftermath can be life-altering. Symptoms such as decreased libido, fatigue, reduced muscle mass, and increased body fat are just some of the more noticeable changes you experience from a lower testosterone level. Every man desires to have greater libido, greater muscle mass, enhanced sexual desire, and increased daily energy. Those overpriced, overpromising magic testosterone pills never do the trick, no matter what the advertisement testimonials claim. Today, we are making increasing testosterone levels simple. It's all in the food. Or rather, what foods do you need to avoid to stop lowering your testosterone as you age? In today's video, we'll go into detail about 10 foods you must avoid if you want to keep your testosterone levels high. Join us on a men's health journey that'll make you feel like you're back in your 20s again. Before we get started, if you value your health, please consider subscribing to our channel. Our goal here is to spread knowledge of health and wellness, and hitting that like and subscribe button truly helps us out. We post twice a week to keep you up to date on the very latest tips, tricks, and nutrition you need to live a more youthful life, even at old age. The support you provide is free and greatly appreciated. Thank you. Now, let's get to the video. Number 1. Soy The stereotype is true. Eating too much soy really does lower your testosterone levels. Apologies to all the soy boys out there, but here are some facts to back it up. Soy products contain compounds called phytoestrogens, which are plant-derived substances that mimic the effects of estrogen in the body. These phytoestrogens, specifically isoflavins like genistein and daidzein found in soy, have been shown to have estrogenic effects in animal and human studies. While the exact mechanisms are still being researched, some evidence suggests that high level of phytoestrogens in the diet may interfere with testosterone synthesis and metabolism in men. Moreover, certain studies have indicated that excessive soy consumption, particularly in processed forms like soy protein isolates, may lead to decreased testosterone levels. Therefore, if our goal is to control those T levels, it might not be the best idea to down soy milk like it's going out of style. And a small amount of tofu here and there will not harm you, with the possible exception of your taste buds. Number 2. Flaxseed If you've never tried this food before, let me be honest in saying you aren't missing much in the taste department. For overall nutrition, flaxseed has its moments, but boosting testosterone is not one of them. This little superfood is a great source of fiber and omega-3 fatty acids. The catch, however, is that flaxseed also includes lignans, which are ninja-like substances that have the power to upset our hormone equilibrium. You see, lignans have a way of tampering with our testosterone levels, which could potentially hinder the creation of our natural hormones. It is similar to having a well-intentioned friend at a party who unintentionally breaks something. They arrived in good spirits, but the end result didn't work out well. While a small amount of flaxseed can be added to your oatmeal or yogurt in the morning to provide some health advantages, overdoing it might not be the best course of action if your goal is to maintain high tea levels, especially if you've already noticed a decline in testosterone indicators such as muscle mass, energy levels, and your libido. Better replace those seeds with some steaks. Number 3. Mint Wonderful for fresh breath on a romantic night out, but be careful not to overdo it. Research has shown that the chemicals menthol and rosmarinic acid found in mint have anti-androgenic properties. These substances may interfere with men's hormone balance and decrease testosterone levels. Consuming too much mint or products with extracts of mint may lower testosterone production. To completely understand the effects of mint on testosterone levels, more research is still necessary. However, it is advisable to moderate intake, particularly for men who are concerned about maintaining optimal hormone balance. Guys, if you're worried about getting lower testosterone levels and one of your go-to drinks is a classic mint julep or a delectable mojito, it might be time to pick a new favorite drink. Apologies to the bartender. Number 4. Alcohol 
Hate to be the party pooper, but you might need to get rid of more than just the minty drinks if you want to keep your testosterone levels high after age 50. Oh, booze. The liquid bravery that drives our most crazy evenings and dubious choices. Unfortunately, alcohol can be a major buzzkill when it comes to testosterone levels. Excessive alcohol consumption at the bar, even if it does not seem like a bad thing, can significantly disrupt our hormones. Like inviting a boisterous bunch of party crashers to our testosterone-fueled celebration, they not only steal the show, but also completely ruin the atmosphere. Alcohol interferes with the creation of testosterone in our bodies, making us feel less like apex predators and more like wallflowers. There's a reason all the best bodybuilders in the world avoid alcohol while training. While the occasional beer won't hurt, keep in mind that if you want to keep your tea levels high, you should sip rather than gulp. Moderation is key, but if you decide to completely cut out alcohol from your diet, your energy, body fat levels, and libido will definitely appreciate the change. Number 5. Root Licorice Although licorice root is well known for its unique flavor, it also contains a little known secret that may have an effect on testosterone levels. Glycerizic acid and licoridogenin, two substances found in this root, have been demonstrated to inhibit the enzyme that transforms testosterone into its active form. Therefore, if licorice root is used over an extended period of time, testosterone levels may drop. Glycerizic acid has also been connected to elevated cortisol levels, which can further upset the balance of hormones. Although licorice root is unlikely to be harmful when consumed in moderation, frequent and excessive use may be harmful to the production of testosterone and the health of your hormones in general. It's similar to indulging in sweets, with a secret warning to consume them in moderation to protect our testosterone levels. Sorry licorice lovers, but it's time to kick this sweet treat to the curb if you want to keep those tea levels high. Number 6. Refined Foods if you're surprised to find this one on our list, please check out some of our previous videos to see how truly unhealthy refined foods are. Newsflash, they aren't good for you. Processed meals are bad for your health in general and are packed with chemicals, preservatives, and refined sugars. They are a threat to your testosterone levels as well. These foods frequently have high concentrations of harmful saturated and trans fats, which have been linked to imbalanced hormone levels and reduced testosterone synthesis. Furthermore, Processed meals frequently have high glycemic indices, which can cause insulin resistance and blood sugar surges, both of which can suppress testosterone levels. In addition, some compounds found in processed foods have been linked to problems with hormone balance. Eating a diet high in processed foods raises the risk of several health issues and may also lower testosterone levels. Therefore, choosing whole, unprocessed foods is crucial for maintaining normal testosterone levels and general well-being, even though the convenience of processed foods may be alluring. While more expensive, the health price tag on whole food makes them well worth your dollar. Avoid refined foods as much as you possibly can, and you'll be rewarded with a priceless price of optimal health. Number 7. Vegetable Oils when it comes to testosterone levels, vegetable oils, which are frequently promoted as healthy substitutes for cooking oil, might not be the best option. Numerous vegetable oils, particularly omega-6 fatty acids, are rich in polyunsaturated fats, including soybean, corn, and sunflower oil. Although these fats are necessary in moderation, consuming too much of them has been associated with decreased testosterone levels. These oils have a high omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acid ratio, which can cause oxidative stress and inflammation, both of which can have a detrimental effect on hormone synthesis and balance. Furthermore, certain vegetable oils go through processing techniques that remove healthy nutrients and add dangerous substances, which exacerbates their detrimental impact on testosterone levels. Choosing healthier options such as avocado or olive oil, which are lower in omega-6 fatty acids and higher in monounsaturated fats, can promote overall health and the ideal balance of hormones. So avoid the vegetable oil and watch your tea levels soar. Number 8. Pasta and White Bread Apologies if you are a big fan of Olive Garden. It looks like you might have to order something other than endless pasta and breadsticks the next time you're there. Pasta and white bread, being refined carbohydrates, have a high glycemic index, causing rapid spikes in blood sugar levels after consumption. The surge prompts the pancreas to release insulin to help regulate blood sugar, but chronically elevated insulin levels can lead to insulin resistance, a condition associated with lower testosterone levels. 
Additionally, refined carbohydrates lack the fiber, vitamins, and minerals found in whole grains, which are essential for overall health and hormone regulation. Studies suggest that diets high in refined carbohydrates may contribute to decreased testosterone production and disrupted hormone balance. Therefore, opting for whole grain alternatives like whole wheat pasta and whole grain bread can help stabilize blood sugar levels, support hormone regulation, and maintain optimal testosterone levels. So it looks like endless pasta and breadsticks are back on the menu. Just make sure it's whole grain this time. Number 9. Red Meat I can already sense the outcry of men everywhere when this beloved food appears on the do not eat list. I know red meat is delicious, but just hear me out on this one. Imagine this, red meat, the delicious juicy treat that adorns our dinner plates may not be the greatest ally for our testosterone levels. It is true that red meat is high in protein and other necessary elements, but here's the catch. Eating too much red meat, particularly processed meats like bacon or sausages, may cause an imbalance in our testosterone levels. It's like repeating the same old dad joke at every family gathering. Sure, it's entertaining at first, but the joke gets old very fast. Just like those eye-rolling relatives get tired of the dad jokes, your body also gets tired of red meat. You see, saturated fats, which are abundant in red meat, have been shown to lower testosterone levels. In addition, hormones and other substances used in cattle ranching carry an additional risk of interfering with human hormone balance. Therefore, while the occasional steak is great, consider saving it for a special occasion rather than having one every night. Both your waistline and your testosterone levels will appreciate it. Number 10. Fruit Juice and Soda Fruit juice and soda have a lot of added sugar, mostly in the form of sucrose or high fructose corn syrup. When blood glucose levels rise as a result of consuming too much sugar, insulin is released to control blood sugar levels. Long-term high insulin levels can exacerbate insulin resistance, a disorder linked to decreased testosterone production. Furthermore, fruit juice's fructose, which is mostly processed in the liver, might aggravate non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This disease can affect testosterone production and interfere with hormone metabolism. In order to preserve normal testosterone levels and general health, it is therefore advised to minimize the intake of sugary beverages like soda and fruit juice. Choosing water or beverages without added sugar can help maintain hormonal balance and lessen the harmful consequences of consuming too much sugar. Let's raise a glass to higher tea levels and a higher drive to live a life full of energy and zest. Remember, this list isn't final, as there are many other foods that we didn't have room for. If you have another addition, feel free to let us know in the comment section. Following a strict diet alone won't boost your testosterone levels much after reaching age 50. However, continuing to consume any foods on this list on a regular basis is a great recipe for lower testosterone levels. Exercise is always a huge boost towards higher T levels. I'm sure we'll cover that topic in more detail in a future video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and put on notifications so you never miss a video. By viewing and subscribing, you are giving us immense support. It helps our mission to improve the health and wellness of as many people as possible, so thank you for that. See you in the next one, and remember to stay healthy and stay based.